just had the coldest night of the year and it's a time when people start to think about being homeless and what it actually means, what it feels like. I'm sitting here in a shelter in a children's playground and it's somewhere that I might think about coming to, to sleep if I was uh, homeless in the countryside. But homelessness can take many forms. It doesn't just happen in a vacuum and uh, it can have many causes that need to be addressed. I've been working uh, with the charity, the homelessness charity Porchlight since February and uh, one of the things I like about it is the way that it tries to address some of the causes as well as being with the street homeless and uh, those in supported accommodation who are taking a step um, towards independent living. Recognising that every person has worth and deserves dignity whatever their life situation is. And Jesus said, uh, foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And we know that Jesus did have, have homes, the family home in Nazareth, um, a place that he called home in Capernaum. But for much of his ministry, he chose to be itinerant um, with the vulnerability and the dependence on the kindness and provision of others that that involved. So being homeless is being vulnerable and let us remember the vulnerable who might be sofa surfing, they might be sleeping in a car or in bed and breakfast accommodation. And there are those who are on the edge of homelessness because of COVID-19. Um, they might lose their jobs and be unable to pay mortgages and other, um, other debts. Please pray for those of us who work with the, the homeless to help untangle and resolve some of the issues um, and that we would stay patient with them and really see the person um, who we are working with. Please pray especially for our helpline that as they're tasked with responding to people's immediate homelessness issues they might be able to direct them to appropriate services. If you'd like to know more please click on the link um, to find out about Porchlight's work. So we take a moment to pray. Loving God, we thank you that you see every single human being for who we really are, whatever our vulnerabilities and issues, wherever we find ourselves. Thank you that you dwell in us. Help us also to always find our home in you as we work together to end the tragedy of poverty and homelessness in our world with Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.